Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Ruskiff here, creator and author of the amazing Comparable Hoppers 2 Spigot plugin. I today would like to very quickly demonstrate to you the power of Comparable Hoppers 2. Without any further ado, let's get started. So Comparable Hoppers 2 uses in-game crafting recipes for crafting custom items that are used to upgrade hoppers. I'm not going to go too far into that. It's well documented. Uh, go read our thread. Go visit our website. Right, let me demonstrate what we have here. So, what we have here is an automatic Minecraft item sorting system for your base. Using Comparable Hoppers 2, um, a variety of Ender Upgrades and Comparable Hopper Upgrades. Ender Upgrades allowing you to root items to, um, to inventories that are not adjacent to the hopper. And uh, Comparable Upgrades, which is like adding a comparator circuit to filter your hoppers. It's basically a filter upgrade that adds this spectacular whitelist to hoppers. Shift click there for the whitelist. You can also blacklist speed upgrade and loads of other stuff. I haven't used any of those other upgrades apart from the Brock breaking update upgrade to uh, make myself a cobble gen over here, which is slowly filling away a chest worth of cobble. Anyway, let's ignore that and explain this very somewhat complicated setup. So what we have here is we have an input chest. It is empty. And that input chest has a ender hopper underneath that ender hopper will pour items into this hopper labeled wood now the hopper underneath it has a comparable upgrade oh that's the ender hopper that's the comparable hopper a uh, comparable hopper upgrade is installed into this one and it has a white list of wood which you can see by the sign is wood and the chest is empty so items will travel from this chest into this hopper into this hopper and then if they can go into this hopper by having items acceptable on the whitelist, it will put them into this chest. Otherwise, this hopper is also an ender hopper, which will take any items that it can't push down across to this hopper here, which has the same setup. And that will convey to this hopper right here. And this hopper right here conveys over to this one over to this one and then this one into this which goes into this charged labeled and sorted right there's a few more hoppers in place that you may have noticed first of all underneath the fuel chest which is filtered on coal we have another hopper which is labeled furnace feed that feeds this furnace right feeds the furnace okay and on the smeltable, we have another ender hopper, which is linked into the, this up here. Okay, now ender hopper upgrades are sided. So when you link them to a block, they'll remember what side. Now I've just put this um, item hopper on top of here linked into the smeltable simply because whilst I can link to the face down, it just gives it a nice buffer. Um, double buffer actually, because you got two ender hoppers. Um, and then this one here is just linked into one of the side faces. Okie dokie then. Um, so we can see that all these chests are currently empty. All the white lists are populated. Word. Uh, that's an ender hopper. Wall um, and coal. And then we also have the smeltables. We have the good stuff. And this one, this one has no filter on it. It's not sorted. It's just anything unsorted gets dumped in here. Right, let's grab a random assortment of items, shall we? Here we go. Now everything on in this chest, apart from this cobblestone. And this piston can be sorted. So let's go dump a load of stuff into my input chest. And there's one last thing I forgot to mention, which is that underneath the furnace is a ender hopper, 
which is piping items into this input chest. Right, now as you can see, we are currently filtering through coal and coal is not landing in this chest. Oh, wood started landing in there. Uh, you can see that our fuel chest is empty, but our furnace feed's not. That must mean that our furnace is full. Yes, it is, it's full of coal. Okie dokie, have we got anything else piping around? You can tell by the end effects when things are ender routing. Let's see where we are on this input chest. We're, oh, we're now, yes, yes. Our smeltable chest is receiving stuff and we are starting to smelt. And what we smelt should pop into, yeah, there it goes, into the input chest and right round to the good stuff chest. Excellent. Where are we? We are currently processing wood. Let's have a look, where's the wood? There's the wood. Now. We can do advanced filter upgrades on these comparable hoppers, which would allow the whitelist to target specific types of blocks only. And I mean filtering birch versus oak, whereas right now they're just filtering on plain block type and not subtype. Um, you can also blacklist, which means that any item not on the list is accepted. It's the inverse of a whitelist. And as I said, I could insert speed upgrades into every single one of these hoppers and make it run at a stack at a time. But I thought for the demonstration purposes of this, this would be much better. So here we go. And uh, we can now see that we're almost finished sucking out all this gold ore while still processing stuff. Excellent. How much stuff have we processed? We got seven iron ingots in our good stuff chest now. Mm. No backlog yet, but we have um, gold ore waiting to smelt after the iron's done. Our fuel um, buffer is filling up nicely. Where are we now? Oh yeah, we are on wool. And there's wood, there's wool, as you can see, wool is filling in. And yeah, this is pretty much a full on item sorting system. Let's just throw in a few items that it's not, well, let's just move up the items that it's not equipped to handle. Okay, now they should both be, the cobblestone and the piston should both be in the unsorted chest, and boom, yes they are. Okie dokie, excellent. Imagine having something like this in your base. How much better would it be? You can auto smelt your ores, and you can auto organize your items. Heck, you can do a lot more than just what I'm showing you here. There are loads more upgrades other than just Ender and Comparable. They all can stack in different ways and change the functionality of each other to do quirky and weird new hopper mechanics that you never thought possible. Anyway, go check out our Spigot page or go check out our website, ComparableHoppers.xyz. Bye-bye.